Roy and Lisa Avery coming to you straight from Avery's All In Warehouse and we want to talk a little bit about our auction firm and how we handle some of our sales because we need help. Going through our warehouse you can see we have a ton of stuff here. We're actually going through a lot of it. We're putting up um, two sales this month. They're already scheduled. One is actually live right now if you go to www.recycleneo.com that is our official business website you can actually click into the online auction that started yesterday. Um, but you can see up here up front this is a lot of our furniture and big bulky items. Um, in our auctions we put our lot numbers on them so we can keep track which number um, or what lot number that is and you can see we have several different pieces and if you notice it's all lined up to go right out the door when people buy it bye bye <laughs> have a good new home life so you can see we got quite a few big pieces here um, unfortunately we don't really ship big pieces but as you get back to this part of the warehouse we have a ton of smalls so we have a consigner that dropped off, well, we, we've got a few consigners that have dropped off a lot of different things, and you can see we're still going through it. Lots of boxes to go through yet. Oh, yeah. Lots. Um, so as we're starting to get to, through this consigner, you can see this is our processing table. Um, so everything gets unboxed and put on the table, and we found some nice things in this, like collectible seasoning cans that are still filled and unopened yeah. with the original seasoning so these are probably from the I would say the 60s I haven't done any research on them yet but um, like all these tooth box toothpick boxes <laughs> tooth box are still sealed I it's crazy I, I could swear I smell cinnamon but maybe it's, it's all in the your ginger. right hand oh okay okay well you know don't yell at me <laughs> um and look at these little knick knock the little knickknacks like so this was in a, sh in a box kind of slide this called printer tray minis and there's mm. probably close to a hundred little pieces in here of just the tiniest little things wow. all different kinds of tiny little things Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, I think we have the printer tray around here too, don't we? I don't know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> pretty sure I ran into it somewhere. Probably. But and then we have other boxes. We got sewing items we have to go through. We have a lot of glassware and dishes over there. Um, to include some depression glass, um, ball glass jars. I mean, all this is going in our auction. Uh, and again, if you go look on our website, you can get to our online auction and everything starts at a dollar. Back here, you can see we're already loaded up. So this is part of, or the start of today's cataloging that's gonna get listed. And uh, this will get listed into our next sale to include, they even brought us a nice vintage Tonka truck. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, let's take a step over here, but these shelves over here, we've pointed out traditionally that this is our online auction shelves. And as you see coming down these shelves, we have over 400 lots built up in this, this particular sale here. Um, so, so this is the current sale that we have listed going on now. If you go to our website. Uh, this is what where you'll find those items. We keep them chronologically, numerically, in order, sort of. Yep. So you can see we have things from bike pumps, baskets, play school and Fisher Price, vintage dolls, vintage Wilton. What are these? Little Ooh. cake pans. Tiffany boxes. You can see coming down these shelves, we have loads of things. Oh, let's not forget the gaming. Video games, all kinds of video games and consoles. Xbox, Nintendo. Sega Genesis. We even have a little more on the back side. 
because we were over on that side um, because we've had so much stuff we've been going through these shelves are loaded with um, stuff as well oh here's that printer tray so quite a lot of stuff going in this sale um, and again this all starts at a dollar so I don't know tell me what you think I don't know if you saw anything as we walk by you can always ask us questions and we'd be happy to answer questions you can always check out our website www.recycleneo.com um, where you can get to this auction and you can definitely buy Christmas gifts you can buy holiday gifts birthday gifts or if you see something you like to add to your collection it's there all you got to do is go shop we appreciate you all right so here we are we're back on the other side of the warehouse in front of this giant pile of boxes and we are going to do some actual unboxing so let's see what this consigner brought us and i thought this would be a fun box to go through because it says old games and it's a big one so let's see what we got Oh, Ugh. very big box. All right, so I see some old tin type things here. Oh wait, this is, oh, this is one thing. <laughs> Look at that, animal bingo. Hmm. We'll have to see if we can fix this. It looks like it's supposed to go, there we go. As okay. with old toys, you know, sometimes they get played with and they gotta need a little bit of work, but that's a cool piece. What else do we have in here? There's some kind of controller. What is that? A Darth Vader controller. <laughs> Probably plugs into the TV to play the game. Yep, there's the AV cords. <laughs> It says Jacks J A K K S TV Games 2005. So obviously we got multiple generations of games here. Right from the get go, you can see that this is Bat Simon Battleship. Mouse trap. Looks hmm. like it plugs in. Also, we got Jenga. <laughs> Who doesn't like Jenga? Right. We have old jacks on the card still. Look at that. Oh, wow. These are also old jacks on the card. Oh, I can pull these out. It's not like this is the original bag. <laughs> this is cool. These are cool. These were the precursor to Legos. You don't ever want to step on these in the middle of the night mm -hmm. or Legos. Look at that crinkled up old ball. It looks like a dried up piece of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't think candy's in there. Oh. It doesn't sound like it, but. Oh, what is in here? Oh shoot, hopefully I didn't break anything. <laughs> so just a bunch of little, like there's a, an old wood top. I think that's the spinner to it. Other little tin toys. I don't know what that is. So that's kind of a fun little catch-all box. We got another controller here. This says Sony PlayStation. Yep, and that looks like it's a PlayStation 2 controller. It probably says DualShock 2 on it by your left hand. No, it doesn't say anything on the back. Yeah, it does. Oh. I'm slide that over, and there's the two right there. Okay. But the other ones are actually wireless, so that's how I also know it and wouldn't have a cord on it. These are more games. Oh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob and Jeopardy. Did you know his best friend was a starfish? Was it a starfish? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's some sort of plastic. Oh, I don't think that goes together. <laughs> and that's it for that box. 
What have we got here in the shoebox? Stereoscope and films. Ooh. I love stereoscopes. Oh, this is oh. not a stereoscope. This is a Viewmaster. Two Viewmasters. And lots of... Here, let's put this on the table. So we got two Viewmasters. And we got Mickey Mouse. Flintstones, Bambi, Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny. Um, I don't know if these have a date on them. I don't see it off the top, so that's cool. Here we have... I bet those are vintage, too, by the way, and the reason I say that is when I was little, we had red ones. Uh -huh. I've never seen those colors. Yeah, we, we'd have to... Look and see if the dates are on them. Here we have, these are, I can't remember what these are called. Hmm. In the seeded rye bread bag. <laughs> um, yeah, do you guys remember what these are called? They're not Lincoln Logs. Nope. Here's another little box with a lot of little pieces, parts in it. This was pieces, this looks like pieces, parts, so lots of little games. Like here's a little light bulb. Here's a Monopoly character. <laughs> this looks like a battleship ship or part of it. So lots of little pieces, parts in there. We got one over card game. What's this? Oh, dominoes. Set of dominoes. Some sort of dice game and here we have these little like handheld plastic uh what you used to play with in the car when you were a kid yep. before video game games and, and yep. game boys all the little handheld games well it's another little deck of cards and i think if i'm right this is one of those flip comic books that you flip. You guys remember those? Can you see it, kind of? <laughs> yes. It's hard, I don't wanna like flip it too much because right. it's falling apart. Well, we That's saw the cool. first one, so. Let's... Copyright 1940, there. Okay, wow. Fun. All right, what do we got here? We got a record player, it looks like. GE Solid State, let's see here. Ooh. go we got some records we can test that out <clears throat> reminds me of the ones they had in school when I was mm -hmm. <laughs> what do we got in here oh it looks like a whole tote of playing cards this says dice tic-tac-toe these are probably more cards oh no this is a wood tic-tac-toe board mm -hmm. So just some vintage, more vintage game type things. A lot of these things will be put into lots. Some of them will be sold separately. Here's the Monopoly Popular Edition, 1954. Well. So I don't know what that is exactly. It's smaller. And then here's Monopoly. Whoa, this is heavy. What is in here? I feel like there's oh, real bricks. Is there a copyright date on this? Okay, no, I'm not seeing it. It could be somewhere. Yeah, probably in the... Well, there's two boards right there. Yeah. But look at how neat all the money is. I bet we'll find all the parts in there, too. So, this is a vintage Monopoly game. Mm-hmm. And here we have what... It's called backgammon, it's backgammon. Yep. and then probably checkers on the other side. Yep. yep. We all had these boards as kids. <laughs> okay, well, maybe not all of us, but here's an old puzzle. Bobbing for apples. <laughs> hmm. That still, like, this might be brand new. Like, it still has the, like, it feels almost like wax paper, but if you turn it over, it's sealed. 
So I don't know if they did that or this is like manufacturer sealed, but that's cool. Here we have the Mad oh. Magazine game. <laughs> Let's see here. I can't see a date. This is probably from the 80s, I guess. It's in really good shape, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. I've never played this game, but that's a fun it board. It's almost like a Monopoly board, basically. Yeah. Nice. Very similar. Yeah, and actually the date's right here. 1979. Okay. And then we have Backgammon. Look at that. I mean, just the graphics on that are great. And that's his, 1975. Okay. Hmm. Okay. This, um, we, we know that these, uh, this consigner, even though they brought this stuff to the warehouse, we're not doing the sale out of the home. We know that they're very neat, clean people. So that is always one thing we look for when we're going to a home to look at stuff to see if it's going to be worth our while to do the sale. Here's Risk, 1975. Nope, 1980. Wow. Mm. I mean, it, I don't know if all the cards are there, but it definitely looks like there was very well <laughs> kept organization yep. to that. Mom made the kids put all those pieces back when they were done. <laughs> Here we have checkers. We have a record. We have the Chinese Ooh, checkers. We just sold a few of those in the yeah. last sale. People use this kind of stuff as decor when mm -hmm. they're setting up, you know, like a vintage vignette on their wall yeah. or whatever. And that's just like something like that could be vintage decor as well. Yeah, absolutely. Or this here. Wow. Yeah. What? This is Spell It, an educational toy. So maybe mm -hmm. like a teacher would have this in their room as a backdrop or part of a, a display that they're using. Um, so yeah, that was a fun box. What do you guys think? See anything you like? It's going to be in one of our next auctions coming up. So stay tuned, subscribe for more. Stay tuned and subscribe for more. What he said. <laughs>